Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm here with another ZBrush tutorial and we're gonna take a look at setting up reference images in ZBrush. In my opinion, a good sculpt needs good references. And in my past experience, I've had some trouble with reference images in ZBrush, at least when compared to traditional 3D modeling packages. And you know, I tried um, dual monitors, switching windows, the transparency slider at the top, of ZBrush spotlight method, but the method I'm about to show you, I think is superior. Hopefully you'll agree. So let's just go ahead and get started. Here I have ZBrush and we're just going to go ahead and add a sphere 3D. Right there, we'll hit edit, make polymesh 3D, and we can even go ahead and turn on Dynamesh. All right, cool. And now we're gonna turn on floor planes. So by default, it makes a floor plane on the Y axis, which isn't what we need right now. We'll turn on the Z axis because that's behind the model. And we're gonna use this floor plane as our um, reference image. Okay. So we'll go to draw. And you can see right here, we have a few options like front and back, up and down, left and right. And so uh, we'll go to front and back and we'll hit map one and import. Now I just went ahead and got some images off Photoshop and put them together. And uh, so that's right there. Now that image is stuck to the floor plane and when I move it around it stays in the right spot and it scales properly now that's good for the front but what about the side what we can do is we can turn on the X floor plane and we can go ahead and change this to left right map one and we'll import the same image There we go. Okay. Now we need to line it up. So let's go back to front and back. And I'll just change the horizontal offset to line that up the front. And then we'll do the same right here. Now you'll see that the, uh, the side image is facing the wrong way. It's easy to fix. We just hit the flip button. Now his face is rotated the right way and we will just that. Uh, oh, that's lined up. And then I'm just gonna move this up. So that should line up. Um, now you may be wondering what the benefit to this is. Um, when you go to draw and fill mode, change it to fill mode three, it changes the model to two kind of halfway opaque and uh, that's really useful so you can adjust the enhance factor and I find this very useful for just roughing in raw form so I'm gonna demonstrate real quick resolution a little
I'm gonna adjust my enhance factor so I can see more of my mesh. It's just for sculpting in details. And I'll switch back. So As you can see, it's a very easy way to block in your model. It helps a lot. Another thing I find useful is the project to mesh. And you, it basically projects your reference images right on the, right on the model. Whenever you don't want it anymore, you just turn it off, and there you go. So, I hope that helps. Um, like I said, I think it's one of the better ways to set up reference images. And so, yeah, happy ZBrushing.